Okay, hey guys, it's DeuceCat5201, and, um, got another tank review for you guys today. Um, haven't done one of these in a while. Um, this is the VK36.01H, uh, German heavy tank, tier 6. And, um, first impressions of this tank. Um, well, I... I think that this tank is really good, in my opinion. Um, the gun, uh, let me see here. The gun, uh, the guns that I can equip are pretty good, um, especially the waffle gun here. Great penetration, uh, damage is like, meh, it's average, not too good. Um, this is how it's hurt, don't get it. Make sure you get the waffle back here. Um, this, um, you shouldn't need that if you get the waffle. And this gun, uh, you lose a bit of penetration, but you get a lot more damage. And that leads to the Tiger 1. And, um, so yeah, it has pretty good gun. The armor, I have to say, it's been fast, uh, fantastic. Um, this turret is, uh, Especially the mantlet, and the mantlet covers most of the turret, except here, on the sides here a little bit. Uh, this armor is fantastic. I get lots of bounces and non-penetrations, but uh, make sure you don't get hit right here, because this leads right to your engine. Um, but yeah, the armor is pretty good, actually. And um, also has nice spaced armor next to the engine, and you have a bit more protection for your engine. Which is pretty good. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for my initial thoughts. I really like this tank. And um, so let's get into um, comparisons. I will be using the American Tier 6 M6 tank. And um, I will be comparing this stock to uh, fully upgraded um, VK here, so it will be a bit different, but it shouldn't be too much different. Um, though I will pull up this to see, I'll pull up this a little bit every once in a while. Um, hit points, um, the VK does outnumber it, and I think that even is with the stock turret, it has, uh, better hit points. Um, and, uh, weight load limits. Uh, the VK is, um, pretty good compared to the M6. Um, and this thing is actually fairly fast. 50 kilometers an hour? Man. This thing's actually fairly fast for a heavy tank. Um, no, the KV-1S, I have to say, is probably faster. Um, traverse speed, slightly better with this, though I do have the better track, so that might be it, but whatever. Um, Hull armor and turret armor. The VK has better all-around armor um, for its hull, but doesn't have as much in the front, but that's only by 2 millimeters. Not too much difference there. Um, on the sides and back of the turret, it is a bit less, but once again, not enough to really make a difference. But then again, uh, one thing is that this is the upgrade turret, the stock turret only has 80, 60, 60 armor, so and when you get this thing stock, it's not too good for uh, the turret armor, but it isn't too hard to get the better turret, and uh, yeah, so that's good. Damage, uh, this does quite a bit more damage, and um, does about the same. Um, actually it does more since the most that, uh, that M6's gun can do is 138 and the average for this is 135, so, um, this is better for, uh, penetration and damage and, um, this is also better for penetration and damage, obviously. Rate of fire, um, this is quite a bit less, um, not very fast shooting, but that is because of the damage. Um, the waffle gun, 
uh, its rate of fire is a bit better, though not really that much to make a difference, but it, it is a bit better. So that's something to take into account. Um, turret traverse speed. Uh, this thing, uh, its turret is very slow moving. Um, it's a hand, crank, uh, hand cranked turret. Um, that's how pretty much all the early German tanks are. So the Tiger, I think. And um, so yeah, it has kind of low turret traverse speed, but this does too. So. Um, view range. Uh, this one does have more. What does the stock turret have? Yeah, that, that still has more than it. Um, which is fairly nice to be able to spot your enemies. Signal range. Um, this thing outclasses it once again. Um, oh, that's a terrible radio. Tier 3 radio. Ugh. Um, and uh, I guess that is about it for uh, the comparison. So, in terms of comparison from the M6 to the VK36, um, the VK is a bit better. Um, though not by too much. Um, that gun is pretty good. It's kind of like the gun I have on this right now. Yeah, it's actually pretty much the same gun. So, they are very similar tanks, but I think the VK-36 does win out by a little bit. But, um, yeah, pretty good tank. Um, most of the time you will be on the front line since you have uh, very good armor for your tier. Though, stay away from tier 8s. Well, I guess that's kind of a general rule of thumb when you're two tiers below. But, um, and also make sure to keep the Glacius Plate um, kind of hidden behind rocks or debris or whatever. That'll help you out a lot. And, um, yeah. So, my final thought on this is, it's a great tank. Um, let's see here. I'd have to say that, um, yeah, I'd have to say that, um, it is a bit, uh, that it is quite a bit of an upgrade from this. And, um, can't wait for the tiger. Because it looks pretty cool. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, pretty good tank. Great armor. Great guns. Kind of slow, um, for going up hills. And, um, I guess that is about it. So, I hope you guys have liked, uh, this tank review. And, um, yeah. That is about it. So, See you guys in the next video. It's been Deucecat5201, signing out.